Hey friends, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, love, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. I was just uh, in the process of making some easy peasy breakfast meal, although this is not breakfast, it's later in the day, kind of lunch dinner-ish, and I thought, heck, I should just record this and show you guys some of the easy things that I do, because what I've posted so far on YouTube is more so like recipes that I've created, but sometimes life gets busy. <laughs> So we need to get some pre-made stuff from the stove. <laughs> so I am actually going to make English muffin with vegan egg and vegan bacon. And that's what I'm going to do. So this is super easy, guys. Um, some, some people are probably wondering, well, if you're vegan, why do you want things that replicate kind of like the animal taste and animal texture? Guys, I wasn't always vegan. I grew up a meatarian, a carnivore, an omnivore, and it's just through the recent years that I've become vegan and so I still enjoy those textures but the idea of actually eating animal product makes me a little queasy inside my gut so I choose to eat vegan um, but sometimes it kind of I still like different textures so it's just a matter of kind of um, finding alternatives so I'm gonna show you guys what I have I have an English muffin that I've just gotten from the store um, this got this has 28 grams of carbs uh, 0.5 grams of fat and 4 grams of protein. I just have my skillet on this skillet thing here guys because I thought it was just going to be easier to show you um, how to make all these things. The vegan egg that I've tried, the only one that I've tried is uh, that's pre-made is this one. It's called vegan egg. <laughs> it's, the vegan egg is called vegan egg. And these are the macros. The only thing that I found about this nutrition label, though, guys, is the actual tablespoons. It's It says a serving of two tablespoons is 10 grams, but I actually find that one tablespoon is 10 grams. So what I do is I just measure it out in grams instead. And it comes in this, this box, has this bag in it, and in that bag, it has, like, this powder thing. And all you got to do is mix it with water. They give you guidance on like what the measurement is. They say blend two level unpacked tablespoons of vegan egg per one half cup of ice cold water until smooth. But guys, I don't always have time to measure things out. So all I'm going to do is I've already run my tap water so that it's cold. I'm just going to I put about that much amount of water in it. Can you kind of see? Whoa, that much water, and I'm just gonna mix it. Let me move my camera so you can see me mixing real quick. <laughs> and it mixes just like that. I'm going to add just a teeny bit more water. Just that much more water. Mix it, and that's it. So that's going to be my egg. I am going to use my oil spritzer to kind of just coat the grill just a smidge. If I ever use oil, it's always just a small bit. So I use like this spritzer. I'll link this down in the description box. I got this from Amazon. And you basically like add pressure into it and you kind of just spritz the pan real quickly. And it's just, you know, you buy those kind of aerosol oil sprays and they're like three, four bucks. This you just refill with regular oil and it's way cheaper long term. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread the oil onto my grill. Here's the English muffin bits. I've got my egg available and ready for me. So I'm going to put that aside because that's going to be the quickest to cook. And then I've got these amazing guys. I don't know. These, these are like, I've already opened this. It's going to fall out. It's called Light Life Smoky Tempeh. Tempeh, for those that are not familiar, are made of soybeans fermented. Um, just cut up, where in which tofu is like ground and processed and kind of made smooth and then like formed into a block. Tempeh is actual bits of soy. Can you see those bits of soy? It's freaking delicious, guys. So anyways, here's the macros on this. Four slices, five grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. Oh, I don't want it to fall out of the package. So anywho, I've already measured out four into my chronometer, into my macro tracking app. 
if you guys aren't familiar with who I am, you don't know what I'm about. I'm a vegan bodybuilder, so that's the only reason why I track my macros. Otherwise, guys, if I were you, if I wasn't doing bodybuilding, I wouldn't track my macros. I'd just have fun with it. So I'm just going to lay these recklessly into the grill because I can do that. Because in this gourmet kitchen, I do what I want. <laughs> and then while I'm cooking that up, I'm going to flip over my English, English muffins. I'm going to clean up just a little bit. And, guys, I always love to have some sort of vegetable, some sort of um, whole fruit with my meals. So, I've actually also measured out some sweet peppers. I have like I I have these cravings and they last for a bit. They're either lately in the last few months it's sweet peppers, carrots for a freaking sure. Uh, edamame's been a craving of mine. I mean that's beyond like the normal normal person cravings, right? But I also have chocolate, cookies, chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> I like chocolate. So I have these peppers just, and I'm just gonna eat them raw. They're just gonna sit on my plate and wait for the rest of everything to get ready. I've got my grill to 350-ish degrees. I'm gonna spritz a little bit more oil. Now, mind you, because I did, I am using oil, although every time I use this spritzer, the food scale can never tell me how much oil I've used because it's so little. So I always just calculate a gram or two grams into my chronometer. All right, so now I've got my egg. It's been sitting pretty here. Sometimes I'll mix in some other things like paprika into it or whatnot. But today I'm actually going to just put it on top. Actually, I think this would have benefited to have a little bit more water. So it's more like scrambled eggy texture, but it is what it is. I find that the longer you let this mixture sit, it gets a little bit thicker, so. There's this other vegan egg that's out there. It's from the same brand that makes Just Mayo. And it's supposed to be pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. These tempehs, guys, these little vegan bacon bacons, you can cook them out. You can eat them right out of the package. They're so freaking good. So you guys can see, if you use a little bit more oil, it won't stick the way mine does, but it's super quick to cook, see? Just like a regular scrambled egg. I'm gonna put this guy on high and let the bacon sit there a little bit longer while I take out my toast and my scrambled egg. Hot. Mmm. I've decided that I'm also going to put some cheese on there, vegan cheese. This is by Chow, tomato cayenne, four and a half grams of fat, four grams of carbs, zero grams of protein. I'm actually just going to do half a slice because I don't want all of that fat, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. It comes, this one in particular, I like because it melts really well. But it comes in slices. You can see the bits of cayenne and peppers in there. It's so freaking delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and, how am I going to do this? Oops. Let's see what happens. I'm actually going to put, put some of my egg back in there and let it cook together. You guys can see it getting softer. I'm going to go ahead and go plate this puppy. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat. <laughs> Don't pick up food directly from the skillet with your hands. That's very dangerous. <laughs> Such a good example. Hot. My husband 
knows that when I'm in the kitchen, I tend to scream profanities because I've either burned myself, I've dropped something, and he learned, he's learned to finally just ignore me because it's just part of my day. <laughs> I'm reckless, and apparently I haven't been reckless enough, but I've learned my lesson. All right, my friends, so this is what it looks like. I did put a dollop of sugar-free ketchup on there. I didn't pat that in my macros just yet, but let's just say that's like a gram of carb. So this uh, meal has 21.6 grams of protein, 51.8 grams of carbs, 8.3 grams of fat. That includes the gram of carb for the, for the sugar. Not in my chronometer just yet. Here's the awkward part where I, where I eat in front of a camera. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Why? But hey, listen, I embrace my nerd. Me and my nerd laugh. I'm just drink, eating this with some kombucha that I was, uh, I've been drinking since my workout. You like our coasters? Look at how cute our coasters are. Mm. Don't mind the water stains on them. Mm. Mm. There's another one somewhere around here. Can't find it. The mansion is too big. <laughs> so good guys. I actually typically also have a bunch of different salts at home and so what I did was I put um, black salt. Uh, if you can see those bits there, like the black bits, that's actually not pepper, that's black salt. It's just got different flavor um, than other salts. So when you when you go to the grocery store, I suggest that next time try out a different salt. Try Himalayan pink salt. Try Salt, Celtic salt, try try just a bunch of different salts. Um, sometimes it's just tastes different just based on like where the salt came from and sometimes the salts are flavored. It's amazing. I love trying different salts and I love trying different oils. My favorite oil thus far for cooking is avocado oil because it's um, a high burn temperature so that means you can put on higher heat without it burning. My favorite oil flavor, coconut. Mm. They pair well with my workout calluses. <laughs> I swear, guys, I love these. These are the sweet peppers. These are the hot ones. You know, the hot ones are like, ah, these are sweet. It's like red bell, bell pepper, but I feel, in my opinion, a little bit sweeter than that. White, delicious. The reason too why I also like eating raw foods is they just take more time to chew, so the meal lasts longer. And depending on what you're eating, it can have an amazing crunch factor. Besides the fact that you actually get a lot more nutrients um, from these uh, raw foods because it's not degraded by cooking. Cooking doesn't degrade everything, all the nutrients, but it can. It can definitely assure that you're not degrading the fiber <laughs> that's in here. <laughs> I'll tell you what guys, ever since I turned vegan, there are a few things that have happened to my body besides I personally feel like I've been able to gain muscle a lot more quickly because I start to I've eaten I naturally just eat a lot more vitamins and minerals through my normal food um, which actually help in the absorption of the macronutrients which are like proteins fat and carbs but there's other things that have really impacted me physically I used to have dermatitis I just have a slightly a bit still so I think it's because of the chemicals that the food is grown in but like when you scratch me, you hit me, you can um, see exactly where you scratched me or hit me. Um, when I used to play basketball as a kid, you, you know, you, people are rough, they smack you, I'd have a handprint like on my calf or my leg and be raised and you can actually feel it. It's like Freddy Krueger is trying to come out. Is that the guy? Freddy Krueger. <laughs> um, 
I don't have that anymore. I used to come out of the shower looking like it had been cat scratched up by like 10 cats. Don't have that anymore. Um, and that was just because of like the way that I wiped myself with the towels. I don't know, it just ended up scratching me. Um, I, I know this is strange to talk about, but I used to sweat a ton. It doesn't matter if it was daytime, nighttime. It doesn't matter if I was just resting, if I was cold or I was hot, if I was meeting or in a meeting or not active, just laying down, whatever. I was just sweating a ton, right? I'd actually have to constantly try. I was struggling always trying to find the right deodorant or antiperspirant or making sure that I'm going to the bathroom, putting paper towels there, you know, things that most girls don't want people to know or I think anybody doesn't want anybody to know. Ever since turning vegan, guys, I don't even have to wear antiperspirant. Isn't that strange? I have this strong, um, strong antiperspirant that I that I en ended up using when I wasn't vegan, and now that I'm vegan, I don't even have to use it. There's no wetness there unless I've had like a major workout, which would be normal, right? Like a major heavy cardio workout. Um, there's no smell there. Thank goodness, because. Uh, I don't like bad smells. Um, so that's been a big game changer for me as well. And then the last thing that's really impacted me positively, my body as a vegan, is my digestion is really good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> I'm just pretending that there's somebody on the other side of the camera talking back to me. So I went for the peppers right away because that's what I crave, been craving, but let me eat this egg and bacon and ooh, let me do this. I'm gonna take my English muffin, I'm gonna put my bacon, my tempeh bacon. So good. I also sprinkled my egg with a little bit of paprika. Regular paprika, not smoked paprika. On a normal day, I drink about a gallon, a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons of water. I just always feel like I'm thirsty. The other thing, guys, is... And I'm not going to say that I never have moments where I just can't stop eating, because I certainly do, but the majority of the time, guys, when you're feeling hungry and your mouth feels like it wants to chew on something, pay attention to your mouth. It may just be dry, and your body may just be asking for water. Pay attention. Next time drinking water may be the thing that actually satisfies you. Mm. By the way, guys, the, these shirts, I'm going to have, um, start to put out shirts that say eat, laugh, lift, and stronger as a vegan. <laughs> Only because you guys ask for it. So keep an eye out. I'm going to I'll let you guys know what I put out there. I'm only going to create a small order um, and to be very, very truthful with you guys, I'm not going to make money off of it. I'm probably going to lose a tiny bit, um, but I'm putting it out there just because you guys have asked for it. So um, keep an eye out and I hope you like it. I don't know if it's going to be this one exactly, um, but we'll see. Anything that I put online, guys, put out there, guys, is only ever because somebody has asked me for it. Um, I never want to just shove stuff down people's throats or faces and just tell them to do it. It's content created based on what you guys have asked me to share, um, advice that you guys have asked from me, those kind of things. So 
If there's anything that you ever want to know, just let me know. Put it in the comments below. I'm always happy, happy, happy to address it. That's my little girl. She's turning six this year. Oh, excuse you. <laughs> she burped him. So, the story of how Darla got into our lives is, I used to volunteer at two places. One was a wildlife rescue, which is amazing because I got to hold raptors, eagles, and hawks, and all those things, and um, meet some crazy, crazy raccoons. Um, I got bitten by a seagull that I was trying to um, uh, tube feed. Got to hold possums and skunks. Skunks are so cute. Anyways, so I would volunteer at a wildlife center. She did not come from a wildlife center. She came from an animal shelter. And I was also volunteering at the animal shelter. And my mom had recently moved up near me because I'd been bugging her for years to move up to the north, uh, northern California. And I told my mom, I was like, Ma, I'm just showing you where you can volunteer. Prepare yourself. You're not going to adopt. You're not ready to adopt a pet. She's like, okay, okay, okay. I didn't talk, give myself that talk as well. So I was walking with my mom outside. I mean, there's this little rat looking thing. <laughs> and I don't, I didn't, before this, I did not like small dogs. I like big giant dogs. And she was just like, <laughs> And I was like, oh my great googly freaking moogly. <laughs> and there she was. I sat in a room with her for an hour because I was like, I wasn't sure. I wanted to make sure that if I was committing, I was for real committing. And then there she goes, into my life, little Darla. Mm. Oh, by the way, guys, I recently launched my website. It's in its baby stages, but it does have information on kind of like my journey, um, things that may be helpful for you guys. It has um, my recipes written down. The ones you guys see on YouTube is recorded, but it's written down for you guys there if that's easier for you to follow. Um, and it also has my coaching packages. So if you're looking for a coach, um, take a look. Description link down below. Home website. <laughs> Peppers are just so delicious. You know, at first, eating in front of the camera was really weird. But now, I don't give a... <laughs> yeah, I remember the first video I made. I was like, this is so awkward. I can't... I don't understand. But I wanted to, you know, share my experiences and kind of put myself under pressure to do well for this bodybuilding show that I was my first one. That's why I started my YouTube videos is to put pressure on myself. Um, 
to do well for my bodybuilding show. And it was just so awkward. I had everything scripted out, blah, 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 blah. And then, now yeah, I'm just eating at you. Feel me looking into your soul? I just spat. That's why you shouldn't talk with your mouth full. All right, guys. I feel like I feel like I've got food all in my teeth. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my bites off camera. But I hope that was helpful, guys. If there's anything else that you do want to see, put it in the comments below. Questions about the foods I pick and why I pick them, put it in the comments below. If me eating in front of a camera strangely is interesting for you or you think I talk about good content while I'm eating in front of the camera and you want me to do it more, let me know by telling me in the comments below, hey Gia, eat in front of the camera some more and talk to my soul through a lens. <laughs> uh, if you do like this content, guys, do give this video a, a thumbs up. It's the way that I know that I'm putting out the right content for you guys. Um, or if you just want to support me, put a ping, like, uh, if you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding. Every time this baby gorilla posts a video. And if you guys aren't already following me on social and you want to, feel free to do so. Alright guys, have a great day. See ya.